Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for 12 days of Christmas with Kathy, Krista, Ronnie, Shannon, Daisy, Tracy, and myself. And all the links will be listed below in the description box. I am documenting a photograph it's a selfie of my husband and I. We do this on December 1st of every year. As a little joke, we were married the evening of November 30th, but the pastor put on our marriage certificate December 1st. And so it's just perfect for documenting um, the month of December for documenting December or December daily, whatever you'd like to call it, or 12 days of Christmas. So anyway, off to my layout. All right, as you can tell, I am using my sidekick and I am using my stamp and thin cut from Close to My Heart, which is Z3529. And I am using the template that you can see right there, and I'm running it through twice. One, I am using the background paper, which is from Pink Fresh Studio. And then the other one is the solid white that I'm going to use to stamp out the number two. I love this map from Close to My Heart. And the opposite side is a cushy foam. And I flip it over to do my stamping. And then I decided to go ahead and decided to go ahead and get the tri-blend pens out so that the stripes in the number two I could color in. So you can see that I'm gonna flip it here right now and then if you are working with something really small, take a little washi tape and it will not pick up that foam on the back of this um, mat from close to my heart. And again, each of my videos, I put just a simple little plug in that I am a consultant for close to my heart. So I would love to have you as a customer. If you like any of the products that you see that are from close to my heart and other products. They have awesome products. So anyway, back to my layout. So I'm going to take the tri-blend, which I also picked these up through Close to My Heart. I know that you can now get those at other sites, but in the beginning you could only get them at Close to My Heart. So I'm getting out the Pell Pink, and the green is, let me look here, my pens, is Jade Green. I'm using the dark side of each of those colors on the tri blends, just like it stands for tri. There's a light, a medium, and a dark blending. Then I get out my, um, so I'm just showing you the colors here again. And then that tool that you see to the right is also from Close to My Heart, and that's Z3527, and it's a piercing tool. And there's little tiny X's in here, so I'm poking those out. Um, also, let's see, the stamp and thin set is called Holly Jolly, and it's Z3529. I'll try to remember to link those below, but I will definitely have my link to close to my heart. All right, the papers that I am using, that pink background, is from close to my heart. And... It was a mix it in the November, December catalog. The other um, main base of the background is from Pink Fresh Studio, their Christmas line. That craft tag I picked up most likely at Hobby Lobby's um, a while back. And as you can see, I layered up my number two and I used the thin foam from close to my heart. You just didn't see me do that. That tag there is from the cedar and pine collection from close to my heart. And then this chipboard that you see that I am cutting a quarter snip from the top is from the Pink Fresh Studio chipboard. 
And in my um, first video, which I did my cover page, and I went ahead and called that page one, I show you all the products that I use, which um, a lot of it comes from the Pink Fresh Studios, close to my heart, and then a bunch of miscellaneous um, embellishments. All right, so that um, sticker that you just saw me put down, it says Cup of Cheer. I move it over right there. That is from Pink Fresh Studio, along with the next one that I'm going to put down in red. That says, I cut it in half. It says um, Cold Hands, Warm Heart, and I cut off the cold hands and left on and warm heart. So basically, Basically, my title is Cup of Cheer and Warm Heart. You'll see me bring in a puffy round sticker that says Deck the Halls. And then I'll bring in these enamel snowflakes. And I can't tell you where I got them. I think they were gifted to me. And based on the package, I'm thinking they came from Freckle Fawn is where I think they came from. And then I will bring out my um, Rachel Beth Handmade Watercolors in gold. It's not the glittery gold, but it's just the regular gold. And I will sprinkle those in the lower left-hand corner and then on the upper right-hand corner where that tag is. And this layout is complete. So again, I want to encourage you to follow along for the next 12 days, for 12 days of Christmas, and go hop along and check out Kathy, Krista, Ronnie, Shanna, Shannon, Daisy, and Tracy's layouts. I know some of them are doing 12 by 12 layouts. And some are just doing random Christmas photographs. It could be of last year or several years. And I am doing December document. And so that's why my first 12 layouts will be somewhat in order of the things that I've done in 2019 um, in the month of December. So as I explained when I showed my first layout, I will be basically a day behind. So even though it says day two, that photograph was taken on day one. Now, I may end up missing a day and get right back on track, and I will let you know. All right, I get out my tea ruler, and I'm going to do some journaling, which just states that this is an anniversary selfie. We've been married 18 wonderful full years together. Our life has been filled with lots of special moments. And then I just write love us and happy. And that's all I document for this page. And here I am going to do the splatters of the gold from Rachel Beth Handmade Watercolors, and you can find her on Etsy and Instagram. Every Friday, she releases a new set of paint colors, and some are brand new that she just created, and some are her previous collections, and you can order them, and then you can also do what they call a custom order, and that is to get some paint colors um, that she's previously handmade. And she does this from her home. And my understanding this is like a hobby because she also has a full-time job. So that is why she only posts on Instagram releases on Fridays. All right, but if you go to Etsy, you can see other colors that she's made or you can message her through Instagram to find out some of her other colors. All right, like I said, here are the close-ups. If you're not a subscriber, would love to have you as a subscriber. Give a thumbs up and keep coming back every single day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.